we're forward motion, we're going to new territory right now. Yeah, I was right. not going to drive at night because nobody would see the trailer. I think people think we're on vacation <laughs> all the time. It's history and it's landscape. It's yeah. just really awesome. It's all my favorite things. We're jumping in here real time to share with you some news we have. We've never been this far north this late in the season. We have to skip some beautiful things along the way. Man, what a beautiful drive. The Aspens are just blazing and we just left here a week ago there was no aspens changing color i can't believe it so we're about to go by our favorite boondocking spot and you, you saw us there already our friends our one chance are up there right now we just left them at the lipper getaway so he's gonna see if he can get a shot of me when we're driving by <laughs> that'll be fun we've never actually we've seen aspens obviously but we've never seen them at like peak foliage we're always like before it or after it yeah we've never been this far north this late in the season. For good reason. And for good reason. It's freezing <laughs> it's out. It's cold. All right, so this is the boondocking spot. Let me see if we can see his rig up there. It's fine. I'll past. keep waving. I know. He's got to be up there somewhere. He said he was going to get on the roof. That's awesome. Oh, man. But yes, look, look, look forward. Oh, you're already shooting forward. I know. I was shooting forward, but like, I mean, seriously. I've never seen the Tetons in yellow. This adds a whole new dimension to how epic the Tetons are. Oh, my word. That's stunning. Like I said before, this concludes our... <laughs> Whatever that was. Journey. We're forward motion. We're going to new territory right now. So we came through here. We went from the ranch through the Tetons, around the backside of the Tetons, did Targi, oh. then up to Coeur d'Alene, then down, then back on the other side of the Tetons, then over the Teton Pass again, <laughs> camped here, went to Yellowstone, East Yellowstone, and now we're back here. Like, that was way <laughs> too much. The inefficiency of it is, is the problem really for me. It's really hurting his head. It was all worth it. We saw amazing things, we did amazing things. We got saw to amazing see people. Awesome people, the event was great, and now we're off to another great event. But first we gotta get there. We got a week, and it's only like 15 hours of driving, yeah. so we got this. We got it. Some bags and we headed west Thought that it might be the best thing for us I was thinking about me And all the things that you leave behind Family and a peace of mind And I, I, I got That's super cool I am gonna love you till the stars go out Shelter up above you till they all fall down We ain't got light, we got love We ain't got light, we got love Floating like feathers in the heavy rain Together, can any All right, so we made it to Price, Utah, to the Walmart, to the Walmart. What a beautiful drive it was yesterday. I had no idea that uh, that out west had oranges and reds. I thought it was just the Aspens. I thought it was just yellow. I was talking to my buddy that lives in Park City, he used to be my neighbor in Maine, and he said this is the most vibrant he's seen since he's moved out about a decade ago. So Isn't that crazy. I don't know, maybe we got lucky our first year actually being able to see the fall foliage out west. It was spectacular. It really was. It really was. Such I a loved cool it. drive. It's such a long like drive down through Salt Lake City, but the mountains glowing in red and yellow made it so worth <laughs> the traffic. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna call this the Day of Temptation, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I wanted to go over two quick things. We didn't finish talking about the leak that we had uh, with that particular valve. So we have the Nautilus system. I don't know what other manufacturers use it, but I know Grand Design does. And it's failed on us twice. The same valve, it's the green valve. So 
I don't know. You'd be pretty dead in the water if you didn't have one of those valves. And you're boondocking. And right? you're boondocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you needed to switch between city water and dry camping, you're out of luck with dry camping because I think that valve leaves it open air to the fresh water tank. But the pump isn't able to catch a prime. I don't know if you want to have something like that on hand. I'll put a link up there somewhere. If your pump is cycling a little bit, that could be the culprit as well if you know you do not have a leak. And then we had one other problem. You saw us hook up to that green trailer um, at the getaway. Turns out that fried one of our fuses and I wish I'd have known that it was just a fuse. <laughs> our lights worked for brakes, signals, our trailer Trailer brakes worked, but our running lights did not work. And I could not figure out what it was. So I thought it could be an animal. I checked all the wires. I checked the fuse panel in the truck, but I didn't check the fuse panel in the engine bay. So it was a 20 amp fuse in the engine bay and now we have power to everything now. And the other thing that didn't work besides the running lights, it did not power our backup camera. Most so. importantly, that was pretty brutal to drive all so, day. So yeah, this that. is a whole drive day. I would not have driven if I didn't have brake lights or turn lights or if I didn't have um, trailer brakes. Right. So all that was fine. It, I, we wouldn't be able to drive at night. I was right. not gonna drive at night because nobody would see the trailer. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we're getting on the road. We're heading to Mesa Verde. We have never been there. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that temptation thing. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night, open my eyes in my own mind. Dreaming, dreaming you. Well, oh, my dreams are sweet when I lay me down to sleep, not dreaming. Don't give me no fuss, don't give me no fight. It's only one thing in the middle of the night I need, and that's dreaming of you. Well, oh, my dreams are sweet when I lay. Okay, so that sign right there is the temptation. We are just, we are about to drive through on a very, I would say fairly short drive day, three and a half, four hours, and we're driving through so much, so much. We're driving through Moab, Arches, Canyonlands, Dead Horse State Park, mm -hmm. everything. We could have detoured and gone through Monument Valley for not that much out of the way. <laughs> but we it's can't so stop. It's so tempting. We have too much work to do. We can't stop. Um, I hope I can not stop. <laughs> you we'll don't have a we'll choice. See if, we'll see if I can stop. <laughs> the temptation uh, might actually be too much for you. So we're heading to Mesa Verde. We've never been there. I'm really excited. This is like, it's history and it's landscape. It's yeah. just really awesome. It's all my favorite things. But we're on our way down to the Balloon Fiesta after that, which also we've never done. We just have a lot of work to do, so we can't... I think people think we're on vacation <laughs> all the time. We have a long way before retirement. Yes. So we just, we only have a few days to explore. We have to make sure that we take time for exploring and, and seeing new places, and that is obviously super important to us, and it's super important for us to be able to share that with you guys, as well as we have to make time to do school and do work and um, fit in all the things that is just part of normal, regular life, like laundry and all those things that just take up time. So we are gonna try to fit in all of those things before we get to the, the balloon fiesta, and unfortunately, that's that means we have to skip some beautiful things along the way. I mean, we've done it before, I know. but it just seems like such a waste to just Except for Dead Horse, which we are coming by. back at some point to do Dead Horse because we'll just that do is that? on the list. No, uh, we've already, we're going to Mesa Verde. Okay. This is gonna be really hard for him, you guys. Okay, what is a place that you guys have had to drive by before and not been able to stop at and you really, really wanted to? I wanna hear if you've ever had this experience before. And did you make it back? If yeah. you did skip it, did you make it back? Mm -hmm. And in case you haven't noticed, it is a Red Friday. Red Friday stands for Remember Everybody Deployed. Um, and we try to do one of these shirts every year. So if you're interested, keep a lookout for the shirts that we uh, that we have to honor this day. My actress. This seems like such a waste. They're driving right by. I love Arches so much. We already drove by Canyonlands, Dead Horse State Park, coming into Moab. I don't even, I, I've already let myself think about all the stuff we're driving by. It's not cool. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, honey. So last time we drove through Moab, it was like crazy under construction. Changes stars. Oh, I ain't gonna step in line. Oh, baby, this is our time to reunite our American. Hey, we're jumping in here real time to share with you some news we have. Um, there's a lot of details, so I'm not going to say anymore. I'll let her take over. <laughs> we are counting down the hours until we get to join many of you to watch the total eclipse at our nightlight rally that we're hosting with Less Drug More Journey. The event is sold out, but we do have a waiting list. So if you want to jump on there, just let us know. We know that so many people have been making plans for a really long time for this event. Keep, keep talking right now, so we get that. <laughs> And if you're anything like us and you missed totality in 2017, this eclipse is a really, really big deal. So even if we don't get to watch it in person with you, we wanted to celebrate and to commemorate this event that's not going to be happening again until 2044. That's a long time. She's going to say something about being 64 years old. I'm going to cut her off before she gets there. <laughs> He doesn't want to think We're about it. We're just going to keep moving. So we and Nathan and Marissa from Less Chunk More Journey want to introduce our 2024 Total Eclipse It's Darker Outside limited edition t-shirt and sweatshirt designed by Lily, of course. So, you know, it kind of goes along with our other store that is It's Better Outside. So we just want to, we want to keep it in theme here. And I think <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. All right, so Lily did such an amazing job with this. She did a cool back for us, but then she changed it up. She did the outline of the United States with the actual line of totality going through it. I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, we yeah. hope you guys like it as I much as I hope you guys like it, yeah. So just like our other FOS It's Better Outside store, this is a pre-order store and it's a very short window because we want to make sure that you guys have your shirts ready for the eclipse on April 8th. So the store opens today, Sunday, March 3rd, and it will close at midnight, Tuesday, March 12th. So make sure that you guys get your orders in on time and we will make sure that they are shipped out to you before March 28th. So yeah, it's a lot shorter than our other stores, so don't wait too long. We cannot wait to see where you guys are celebrating the eclipse and watching this amazing event make sure that you tag us at finding our someday and less drunk more journey and use the hashtag it's darker outside so we can see where you guys have experienced the eclipse I also want to add that our regular FOS it's better outside spring store will be opening like normal but I just this was this is a special event I want to remember this mm -hmm. I want to have a shirt for it so I just want to commemorate this with a shirt um, and also our red Friday shirts that I mentioned earlier will be available in that store so you know that we're behind. You're, a lot of you guys have noticed that, but we want to, well, we're up to date right now. We are still on the road. We are still adventuring. We just needed some time, and we do this every year. We needed some time to like relax as a family because we can't be go, go, going all the time. So we batch our stuff so we'll have a little bit of a break, but don't you worry, like by the nightlight rally, we will be up to date, not very long, we're almost there, and this is a big year. Season nine is gonna probably be one of our biggest years. I think we're gonna have two new, very different RVs to share with you, so stay tuned, um, we're really excited. <laughs> 